Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to create uh, a button with an image on it using uh, Delphi XE6. First thing to do is to bring down a button and I'm going to use a speed button. So here's a speed button, I'll make it slightly bigger. Then I'm going to bring down a T image, which you'll find under shapes. So I've got the T image and a speed button. I'm going to change the caption on the speed button to test. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, move, if you go to the structure panel on the left, I'm going to move the T image to be a child of the speed button. Okay. So what you'll notice now, if I move the button, the T image moves with it, so I'm going to reposition the T image next to the uh, to the left of the caption, and I'm also going to set the align property to left. And then finally, the very important thing I have to do is I have to um, make the hit test false. So this this will mean that the button underneath the image will receive mouse clicks. Then, of course, I need the image itself, and to do that, I just select the image and find multi res bitmap, select that, and you get this new dialog. Load up an image of your choice, and then at this point, you can select the transparency color, which happens to be this uh, fuchsia color. Select apply, quit, and there I have a, a bit a button with a bitmap on it, and I can uh, run it to show you that it works, and so on. Okay. Now, if you want some extra space between the bitmap and the test, you can go to the select the button itself, and then uh, go down to style settings, no, um, um, text settings, and look for horizontal alignment. Go trailing, and that'll push it to that side. If it's, if you think it's too wide now, just reduce the button size a little bit. And there you have it. If you want to make a copy now of this button, just make a copy of it. And now you can put in a new image. Just again, select the image, select multi-res bitmap, pick yourself a new image. Uh, the color, the transparency color is set. Hit apply and you have two buttons. And it's as simple as that.